Hey everyone, I'm StarCraft Dad, and welcome to Star Class. Today we'll be covering the basics of a StarCraft II game and doing a tour of the replay user interface. So a game of competitive StarCraft II is played between two teams, a red team and a blue team. Usually each team is composed of only one player. Sometimes they do ma double matches, two versus two. But in most cases you'll see one versus one. Each player controls a set of units and buildings. There are two types of units. There are worker units, such as these workers here, and army units, which we will see later. Worker units are used to harvest resources, such as these minerals, these little blue rocks here, or gas, these Vespian geyser gas that's green. Worker units are also used to build buildings, such as the supply depot. Buildings are used to build more units, or to enhance units that are already in the field. The basic flow of a game is a player uses units to build a base, uses that base to build an army, and then uses that army to attack the other player. So let's take a look at the uh, replay user interface. So over here in the left hand side, lower left hand side, is the game clock. You can see the time ticking faster than seconds in real life. This is game time. So when casters talk about the amount of time required to build units or to uh, destroy buildings, or the amount of time that's passed in the game, they're referring to this game clock here. Also on the lower left hand side you can see the mini-map. This is a miniaturized version of the entire map used by the players. So the caster can move around the map by clicking on the mini-map and you can see the players units and buildings highlighted in red and in blue. In the upper left hand corner you can see the tab interface which is commonly set to the production tab where you can see which units and buildings each player is currently researching or constructing or training. Uh, sometimes casters will turn on the units tab which shows the number of units and the kinds of units that each player has at the moment. You can see there's a whole list of other options uh, available to casters as well. Casters will often turn on the nameplate in the upper center here. This shows the two players and their names along with their race and also their supply count. Uh, these two numbers represent a player's supply. On the left hand side is the amount of supply that's currently used by the player. Each of these little units uses up a little, an amount of supply. And on the right hand side is the supply cap. This is the maximum amount of supply that a player can currently uh, use. So the supply numbers are a good relative indicator of how a player is doing in the game. So we can see right now that these players are relatively even with perhaps player 2 having a slight lead. On the upper right hand side we can see the resource counting station where we can see two rows, one for each player, red and blue, and in the first column we can see the amount of minerals that the players have banked, that's minerals they've collected but not spent, as well as Vespian gas, right here in the second column. And the third column is a miniaturized version of the supply count here. On the lower right hand side we can see a control that the casters can use to pause the game or play the game, uh, speed uh, up and slow down the game speed, as well as fast forward and rewind. Often they'll have this at a minimum collapsed or sometimes covered with some sort of promotional banner. So we'll slow down the game a little bit here. So in the lower right hand corner you can see the uh, command box which shows the different types of commands that you can issue for the unit selected or the different kinds of buildings and technologies that can be built from a building that's selected as you can see here. So here in the middle we can see the information um, area which shows here we can see that this marine is being built and the progress towards that or for a unit you can also see some other stats about them and most importantly their hit points here. Casters can also turn on the hit points on the screen so you can see the hit points of all the units visually graphically on the screen and uh, casters can also uh, switch to the vision of each individual player. So here we can see the vision of Q Phoenix, and if we go over here and select on a blue player unit or building, we can see the vision of that blue player. So here we can see that the blue player can't see this red army coming up to attack, and then here we can see that the red player does not know what kind of units or buildings are in the opponent's base. Casters can also switch to the exact view of a user uh, by picking this, uh, or using some hotkeys. So here we can see exactly the camera view that the red player Q Phoenix is using. So we can see exactly where Q Phoenix, what he can see on the screen and where his focus is. And we can switch it over to the blue player. The blue player being a computer is not very interesting. The other thing that we can do, let's turn off these hit points. Oh, you can see right here the hit points. 
being eaten away here. You can see that on the screen. Another thing we can do as casters is we can turn on some of these flyovers. So there's an army, su there's a supply flyover where you can see the current amount of supply used by workers and army units by both sides. And there's also a units killed flyover which you can see the number of units killed and workers killed for each side as well as an income flyover which shows um, who's gathering uh, how many minerals and gas at this moment. So you can see the blue player is doing the most mining and the red player is focused mainly on attacking things. And lastly there's the uh, APM flyover where you can see um, who is doing the most actions per minute. So that should do it for the uh, this first lesson of the uh, of StarCraft 2. So hopefully you'll be able to understand uh, the general makeup of a StarCraft 2 game and be able to watch a game of StarCraft 2 and understand what's happening. Um, the game goes until one of the players has either all of their abilities destroyed or they surrender. And we can see right here the second player deciding to surrender, uh, sending a message GG before they do. GG stands for good game. We will talk about uh, some player etiquette with the beginning and endings of games later, but uh, hopefully that gives you a good overview of the flow of a StarCraft 2 game using units to build a base and using a base to build an army to destroy the other player and um, the basics of the th this user interface that you see around the edge. Uh, that'll do it for today's Star Class. I'm StarCraft Dad signing off and we'll talk to you guys next time.